Hey guys, Julian here. Today quite a serious one, probably the most serious one you can you can do actually. I want to talk about cancer. Um, a mate of mine died last year, I was at his funeral, he's the year below me at school. Um, and I've got people in the family um, suffering with cancer and I've known other people have died of cancer and it's basically just just shit, it's horrible. Um, thousand people a day in the UK will be diagnosed with cancer. It's one every two minutes. And if you live in the UK, then your chance of getting cancer, um, being diagnosed with cancer, um, sometime in your life is 50-50, is so that's the toss of a coin, right? And some cancers, they're unavoidable, it's just, it's in your, it's in your DNA, it's, in, it's just bad luck, you're gonna get it, and, um, and that's shit, and there's nothing you can do about it. But here's the thing that most people, well, a lot of people that I speak to don't know, most cancers are avoidable. Most of them are down to lifestyle. So we can tweak that massively in our favor, guys. It doesn't have to be 50-50. Everyone knows that cigarette smoke causes cancer. So there you go, you tweak your odds straight away if you don't smoke, but there's more, there's way more than that. Now the World Health Organization have classified carcinogens, cancer-causing substances as class twos or class ones. So class twos, you've got things that they think cause cancer, but they can't prove beyond doubt. Um, we've got some things in there like shift work and burning woods indoors, interesting um, lead compounds. That was a massive list, like thousands on the list, honestly. Most of them I've never heard of, they those chemical names, but um, I'll talk about the class ones, I think the class ones are probably more, more interesting, because these are things that the World Health Organization have said um, definitely cause cancer, so they have no doubt, and this is a reputable um, organization. Um, they're not influenced by industry, they're not funded by industry, and they've said beyond doubt that the, these substances do cause cancer. And I think we all need to know this because it isn't 50-50. That's the, the stat that people throw around. You've got a 50% chance, chance of getting cancer in your life. You, you don't. You can tweak it in your favor. Like a card counter in Vegas, you can tweak the odds in your favor so it's not 50-50. Let me give you some of the class ones. Mustard gas, avoid that. Plutonium. There's some heavy heavy duty villains in here. Tobacco smoke. Well, don't smoke for Christ's sake. Alcohol. Interesting, make your own rules on that. Engine exhaust, diesel. So avoid as possible. Badger government, do what you can, avoid it. Asbestos, obviously avoid. So these are hardcore things, right? We're not we're gonna do our best to avoid these things in life. But there's one on there that I think you can avoid relatively easily. And I'm willing to bet that most people are consuming it almost every day. And it's processed meat, guys. Processed meat, according to the World Health Organization, is a class one carcinogen. I think that's bonkers, guys. I think that's bonkers. I can go up to co op and buy that. Gotta think about it. Honestly, just think about it. Your odds are not 50 50. You control the odds. Most cancers are avoidable. That's it, guys. And that was a heavy one. But. Um, I think everyone needs to know. I feel bad if I didn't tell people that. Hit me up with comments, what you think, um, like, subscribes, and um, I'll catch you next time.